Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Yes, she is one of the hugest Spurs fans. <laughs> it is Sylvia. And, of course, the Spurs are riding that eight-game win streak. Yes, That on the excited. heels of that rodeo road trip, which we will just not talk about Yeah, well, anymore. let's not talk about that. Because everybody's kind of like, <laughs> are they going to make the playoffs now? And now, all of a sudden, oh, I yeah, mean, watch out, don't you know? Probably the hottest team in the NBA mm-hmm. as of right now. So <laughs> that's in uh, in town tonight, right? Yes, Golden, Golden State, State Warriors going down. That's all, all right. I'm going to say. All right. Back to the topic <laughs> at hand. Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday. Back to school Monday for a lot of kids. Hope you're... You know, didn't have too much trouble getting them out of bed this right? morning. Right, mine, so. mine were sleeping in. Yes, I'm Jen Tobias Jeske filling in for Fiona while she's on maternity leave. And, you know, we're talking spring break because, yes, it's over, but we want to see what you did. Did you do anything fun? We did last weekend. It was a little cool this weekend. Went down to uh, Port A, and it was a little iffy. We took, <laughs> we took Max the Wonder Dog with us, and he actually had a pretty good time on the beach. Didn't didn't it go in the water at all. Looks but very relaxed. Yes. Any other dog, he would bark <laughs> and defend his territory right there. Aww. So, And, of course, on the cloudiest days, you can get a really bad sunburn. And I don't know if I'm still peeling or not. So sunscreen. Oh, just a little. Yeah, on, even on the cloudy days. But you days, had fun. So. It's oh, worth it. It's, it's just always <laughs> relaxing going I love down the there. Beach. You know, quick little yes. drive. So what'd you do? Well, we did a lot of fun things with the kiddos. We did some crafting. Yeah, I did my little collage. They came by KSAT, got on TV, <laughs> uh, and then we made a fairy garden. So those are just a few Aww. things. Yeah. Hanging out with mom. Yeah. I love the, the Batman T-shirt. You know, um, right, right. Superhero and a princess. My, my boys too. Yeah. So, they well, we want to see all of your spring break pictures. Did you stay here? Did you go on an exotic trip? Anything like that? <laughs> Send them in, and we are going to be showing them throughout the course of the hour. <laughs> all all right. right. Spring is all about a fresh start, and. Why not revamp some recipes at home? Bianca Rodriguez is here to share some of her great recipes, and your family mm-hmm. are going to love these things. Yeah, so before we get started, let's talk about all the ingredients that we're using today. Yes, so we're doing a fresh strawberry salsa. So we have onions, we have plenty of fresh strawberries, we have um, jalapenos, cilantro, and fresh lime juice. Real simple ingredients, and a lot of people are going, really? Strawberries and it salsa? It works really well. It caught my attention. Yes. I, was like, I feel like you can do anything, and swapping out the tomato for like a blackberry, a blueberry, works really, really Ooh, well. I like what salsas. you said earlier, a mixed berry would be good. Oh, blueberry, blackberry, delicious. and strawberry. That was a great idea. And it wouldn't just have to be for chips. I mean, you could put this on meats, on... Anything, fresh cheese. fish, yeah. yes, chicken, sandwiches. Chicken. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What are we doing today? Today, we're going to pair them with a new product that just launched in H-E-B. It's Chizinos. So it's a Brazilian style cheese bread. Okay. So it's it's great because you find them in the freezer section. They go straight from the freezer to the oven, no thawing required, and okay. this is what you get. How long do they bake for? They, under twenty minutes, Ooh. and they're delicious. So it's a family it. recipe. Don't have to thaw them at all. Don't have to thaw them. They're gluten free, made with real Parmesan cheese. One gram of sugar. I One gram of sugar. <laughs> yes, and Which they're delicious. Awesome. Oh my God! So we wanted to do a different spin on how to serve them. Okay. So we're gonna pair them with a fresh strawberry salsa. Strictly oven, not my. I was just reading to see if you could do them in the microwave. Strictly, strictly in the oven. oven. Okay. Yeah, straight from the back. Back to the oven, oven too. yeah, okay. like a little toaster oven. So we're gonna do is we're gonna add our strawberry and our. Now all of this is going. All of it. Okay. All of it. Beautiful yeah. colors here. Right, right. Five what made you go with spring. strawberry? Because it's spring. You know, you want that little pop of freshness. You want the sun to come out. Yes. <laughs> the cold weather to go away. Yes. So we're gonna add onion. Thank you, Mike. And then we're gonna add some jalapenos, and you can do jalapenos or serranos. And I took the seeds out, so because we don't want it too too spicy, <laughs> okay. we don't want it to overtake the flavor of the strawberries. What do you prefer, uh, jalapenos or serranos? I both jalapenos and serranos. Uh, you can yeah, so we're going to squeeze some fresh lime juice in there while she adds the cilantro and All of it? All of it, yeah. Okay. Lots of flavor yes, here. Yes, lots of flavor and color. Love lime juice. Mm-hmm. And again, if you want to put in lemon juice, if you want to... You can do lemon juice. Do your favorites or do anything your like favorite, that. Do your favorite, yeah. Go ahead, because there's no exact recipes yeah. for something like that. How long this, would right? this last? You, you can make this the evening before, okay. the night before, and okay. then serve it. And then these, when you come straight from the oven, you want to put them on a platter and serve them so they're nice and warm. We're going to hit it with some spices. We're going to add cumin, salt, and pepper, and then we're going to mix that all up, and that's it. All of that. Simple ingredients, nice and fresh, mm-hmm. and it's got, and especially mm. with the, the strawberries in there, it gives you that summery fresh. Yes, that kind of pop cool. of freshness. Yeah, yes. yeah, and it kind of cools you down on, on a hot day like that. And that's it. So it's beautiful, vibrant, and we're going to serve beautiful. them. You can bring them to the table with some warm chizinos. 
I want to party at your house. <laughs> I know. Right? I know. The way she sets everything up. I'm like, oh. So then there you go. So beautiful. Super easy, super bright, perfect for spring, entertaining with a glass of mm-hmm. cold, a beer, mm-hmm. margarita. Sangria. You're ready to go. <laughs> okay. So that's the, the nice uh, savory. And then we have the sweet. Yes, and you can do sweet. them with a little bit of cinnamon and sugar. Yeah, you want all the cinnamon yeah, sugar mixed together? Mix all, all the cinnamon together with sugar. Mm-hmm. And we're going to roll these straight from the oven. They're nice and warm. We're going to roll them in coconut water. So then that'll coconut give us water. the little savory so from the cheese. Dip them in there. Okay. And just go And like then this. just roll them in the sugar. So it gives it a little sweet, savory, and then that little dust. Kind of like a churro. Yeah. But then like a cheesy churro. How did churro. you come up with this? You just experimented just, and have fun? Just, it was just a <laughs> different take on serving them just warm. You know, I wanted yeah. to add them a little texture. And so it's like a mini cheese churro. And that with a nice cup of coffee mm-hmm. or a cup of tea or something like that, and you would be And I think it's so... Set. I mean, it's so easy, straight mm-hmm. from the oven, yes. to, you know, straight from the freezer to the oven, yes. and you can do this in under 20 minutes. What do you think? These are, oh, these are fantastic. <laughs> and we'll, the, she started off with about 50 dozen on here, <laughs> and we just walk about chicken. <laughs> 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 um, and the nice thing, then, these are cold right now, but fresh out of the oven. Fresh out of the oven, And this makes your house smell so good. So you can mm. find these in the freezer section next to the bread at H-E-B. They're at all, all the H-E-Bs, so... And you have so many recipes on your website. You're an author, and you all, you're all about family, bringing people together yes. with food, right? Yes, simple recipes, mm-hmm. you know, to gather the family with. Got yeah. it. Well, thank you so much. Thank for you more for having on me. these recipes, just go to EssayLive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Thank you so much, Viani. Thank you. Well, the new season brings spring cleaning, and if you didn't know, gala season, it is gala season for a lot of organizations, so mm-hmm. you want to look the part. Yes, it is, and Fiona stopped by Bear Essentials to uh, get the man in your life all suited up perfectly for that great event. Take a look. guys, it's time to suit up. And here to help you do it in a fancy way is Stefan Delgado with Bear Essentials. Hey, Fiona, thank you for having me today. You know, uh, I gotta tell you, I feel extremely <laughs> underdressed at the moment next to y'all right now. <laughs> you look great, you look great. You know, I have to tell you, when I think of gala season, I think of something my late father used to tell me. You dress good, feel good, look good. Uh, today I'm gonna show you three different looks. Uh, one from the very high-end look, more of it as an investment look, and then a very affordable look for the gentleman who maybe doesn't go to as many galas during the season. What I have here first is the investment look. This is for the gentleman who's gonna go to two or three, maybe four galas a year. Um, whereas running a tux can get expensive if you do that four times. This is a look that may be expensive, but again, you can change it up and get your money's worth. What I have here is your traditional tux look with some modern appeal to it. If you notice a shawl collar, uh, a navy approach as opposed to your traditional black look, and if you notice the pockets, there's no pocket, there's no flaps on. Them. So just a nice little cut to them to keep it a little bit of a modern flair. The other piece is I've gone with no socks, again modern, nice and slim fitting, uh, and then again no belt. So I have this simple latches to tie on and a nice little pinstripe down the side to give that tuxedo flair. Again, this look is going to be more of your higher end, but again, it's an investment piece. It's a piece that you're going to wear over and over, and over time you can change the look. If you wanted to go with a black shirt, if you wanted to go with a black tie instead, um, again, change up your glasses. The look can evolve over time so you will get your money's worth on this kind of investment piece. You can come to Limitus and they can personally craft it for you to give you the lining that you choose. Uh, there's a bunch of different options you can get with this tuxedo and it's a great look for you. Fiona, and the second look we have here is gonna be a little bit more of your more affordable look. Again, this is just a cocktail blazer. Uh, this cocktail blazer is under $60. Uh, what you can do with this is simply throw on some black suit pants uh, and then go with this cocktail blazer, a nice simple black bow tie. And if you notice here, Fiona, what we have is a black bow tie. It it matches the pattern of the jacket, but it contrasts the shirt, which is just a nice little touch, a nice little flair. You know, also is what you need to do is if you need to just add another little pocket square to it to fa- fancy it up, boom, you can do that right there and you're good to go. Again, this is a great value, keeping it modern as well too, with a little black trim on it. So under $60, JC Penny, the guy who just is in a crunch and needs to go to a gala last minute, this is a great look for them. And Fiona, what we have here is another affordable look. Again, this is for a gentleman who may go to one or two galas a year, but always has a black suit in his closet. Um, doesn't have a black tie, doesn't want to go rent one. Again, it's just a simple black suit, black slacks, black jacket, a uh, nice little white pocket square. What I always encourage is if you're gonna do this, just keep it very simple, keep it very light. A simple black tie, nice and skinny is always good. Silver tie bar would be great on this piece as well too. So again, nothing too crazy, single button. And then right here we have a nice little easy lapel pin. Again, it's just a little bit of color. I mean, feel free to change your colors up on it. It's up to you. 
It was, is what this does is that pop of color we always talk about. You're keeping it black and traditional, but again, you're adding some flair with this. It's simple, it goes in through the back, nothing too crazy. You can easily pick this up at any department store and a great modern appeal to your black gala look. All right, and we of course want to give a big thank you to Limitus Bespoke Custom Clothier here at the Roosevelt Library in Southtown. And they have a great selection of clothing, everything from suits to formal wear for both men and women. And Stefan, tell folks how to find you. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram, and that's Bear Essentials, B-E-X-A-R-E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L-S, -S -S -E Bear Essentials. On Instagram. And for a link to his Instagram, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Still ahead on SA Live, a new gym catering to women. We're taking you inside the new Burn It in 30 and learning a very healthy recipe. Plus, spring is in the air, and we're making some very one-of-a-kind reads with the Cactus and Zero Fight Society, so stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you're a lover of succulents and cacti, there's always so much more to learn about them. The San Antonio Cactus and Xerophyte Society is all about educating, but also having fun with planting these beautiful pieces of nature. Joining us today is Barbara Schultz to share more. Welcome. It's good Thank to you. see you. Okay, the big question is the difference between a succulent and a xerophyte. All right. Well, actually, <laughs> they're all one and the same. <laughs> explain. I will, I will explain. Uh, xerophytes are plants that grow in areas where there is not much liquid water, not much rain. So they all have to have a special survival technique. And your succulents, um, and including cactus, their technique is to store water in their bodies. And that's how they survive. And they use their roots to get minerals and water out of the soil. Other xerophytes have different survival strategies. Okay. For example, the ones that I brought today. These don't use their roots the air plants, for right? what everybody else uses them That's for, right? right? That's right. These plants are called air plants or tillandsias. Okay. And they absorb water through their leaves. Right, right from the air, um, if there's lots of humidity, and also if it rains, that's how they get their water. And their roots are only for holding on to things. Okay, so mm. in nature, this, I mean, they would kind of grip onto the wreath if you had the perfect, if you could do the, they the grip perfect, onto, they'd grip onto it or rocks or anything rocks, like that. Rocks, trees, even telephone wires. Okay, good. so that's why these are good uh, for people that really aren't that green a thumbish? Yes, yes. Just remember okay. to water at least twice a week, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. So what are we making? Yeah, because yeah. this is beautiful. Well, well, I did want to show you that we do have two native tillandsias that grow right here in Texas. Oh. Oh, those this, are, I thought that was fake stuff. This is real stuff? This is real. <laughs> this, yes, this is no, real. I, I, I don't know. I, this is ball, it does look like something you could buy ball at moss. And it Ooh, is a bit. tillandsia that grows right here in San Antonio. And this is Spanish moss, which grows mainly in East oh, Texas. I know. Oh. And it's not moss. It is a tillandsia. So it's, it. Okay, even though it's called Spanish moss, it's not moss. It's not moss. So confused. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is they're cute and beautiful, and I love them. So where, how do we get started? <laughs> well, um, the really cool thing is, you know, when you're making a succulent wreath, eventually you have to take the succulents off and plant them. Okay. But since these naturally grow on wood, they can stay on here oh. indefinitely. Okay. So if you'll notice on this one, what I did was I used the, the vines mm -hmm. to actually hold the tillandsias onto the wreath. Okay. There's no glue or, or wire or anything oh. else. Okay. So if you wanted to, you could just kind of tuck all these little tuck things in. in there and, and skip the whole glue gun. That's so right. And you'd be one? all set. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now if you had these things, are they better to put inside or outside? Well, uh, it, outside is better, but they, but they can go inside. And I did want to tell you that, you know, if you have a really large tillandsia like that one or a couple of the really big ones over there, you do want to use some thin wire okay. Okay. to hold them on. So, and if you were to put them in, say, in your bathroom where the shower is going every day, that's going to be perfect for that's them, right? That's great, but they still do need additional water Okay. besides just water. So how do we care for this then? Once we get, get it all done, we stuck them in there, how, how often should you water something okay. like this? Mm -hmm. All right. Are we going to glue? 
Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, only I, about 30 I, yeah, seconds I said this one. Oh, okay. We only so. have 30 seconds. So I want to make sure we know how to care for them. I just wanted to tell you, use your glue gun. Um, glue it right onto the... Okay. The, you don't have to. I just want to... Yeah, okay. let's do it. Why not? Go ahead and glue that okay. there. And then since you, the roots are just for holding on, you just stick there it on go. and, Perfect. and you're good. And you all meet once a month mm -hmm. at... Uh, and anybody can come? Annie can... Buddy okay. can come. Um, I'm going to just kind of show you how to you know, spray give them, give them them. spritz there. So yeah. once again, yeah. San Antonio Cactus and Xerophyte Society, they meet every third Wednesday of each month at the San Antonio Garden Center. If you'd like more information, you can text SACXS to 56512 or visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And we've got all the information that you need. These are great, great gifts, too. Perfect, perfect right. housewarming or hostess gifts. Okay. Still ahead on SA Live. Meal deals perfect for your lunch hour, and they cost $5 or less. Yeah, that's a bargain. Details a little <laughs> bit later on in the show. <laughs> Plus, for the kiddos to the adults, the Bitters on Alley has you covered with your spring shopping guide. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, the weather is warmer, spring is almost here, and we are going outside more. A lot of you maybe want to get back on the healthy track. Maybe your resolution was to stay healthy, and we're kind of falling off of that. Well, the Institute of Functional Health can help you stay on the healthy track and dive deeper into that. Dr. Jacob Torres is here today yes. to tell us how. Welcome. Yes. Well, thank you. So figuring out the problem is always uh, a struggle for right. some. So how do you get to the root of the problem? You know, so the game plan is very, very strategic in our clinic, the way we do things. So first of all, we have an integrated approach. So we have natural providers and also with traditional medical providers, but we take a non-traditional approach to things. So before we end up taking somebody on and figuring out if we're going to be able to help them or not, we talk and we sit down and talk for about 30 to 45 minutes, specifically about what's going on in, with their health and also trying to get to the root of that problem. Because most of the time we'll be told exactly what's going on just in that initial conversation so at that point in time we'll be able to see are we going to be able to help this person and what is it going to take and then we order very very defined and also uh, very different labs and most providers will order that way we can under uh, basically un, un, unleash all of the issues okay. at, the, at the bottom of the problem got it so that conversation i'm sure is very helpful because right. they're able to explain and then you dig a little deeper there yes. so we have some photos right. of one of your patients let's talk right. about lucy you know so just like everybody else that's listening you know she had come to our office and she was frustrated with the way she felt. She was frustrated with uh, not feel, not getting results. She was frustrated with uh, she had a lot of pain as well. And she was looking for a complete overhaul. And basically, what we were able to do is we were able to create a game plan and say, "Hey, this is what we this is what we need to do in order to be able to get to the root of your problem." And she's actually here in studio with us today to be able to share her own story with us as well. Wow, Lucy, you look beautiful. Welcome. Thank you. Thank so, you. So, why did you decide to go with the Institute of Functional Health? Well, most definitely the struggles that I had health-wise, pre-diabetic, high cholesterol levels, mm -hmm. knee pain, and no energy. Mm -hmm. And so that was my main reason for coming to see Dr. Torres. And Dr. Torres, tell right. me about the experience working with Lucy. You know, so it was, it was interesting because she came in initially because she had pain. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, uh, as she was going to other doctors, she was noticing that the pain was being treated with medication that was causing a symptom that was causing another problem. You know, so then, of course, uh, it's a byproduct of everything. Yes. Uh, you know, <laughs> she's now more active. She's now 50 pounds down. Uh, wow. She's got a complete new outlook on life. And, of course, she's able to now avoid all those medications. And, you know, and it's, this is a special, especially a very uh, special story for me because <laughs> her husband's part of our clinic also her oh. daughter her son-in-law she yes. she has her whole family because of what she's been able to experience in our office wow well, that's a wonderful story and you look great do you how Thank do you feel you. i feel fantastic what my energy you? level is back i no longer have those struggles that i had in the nice. past you know when Love i first it. saw dr torres i i told him i'm like i want to be just out of the 200s yeah and he's like well we can do this and by june i was i started in april and in june i was right under wow and it's just life-changing i love it right. Got it. Well, I, I can feel the excitement. Thank you so much for sharing that. Let's talk about other patients who can benefit right. from So your... for sure, you know, a, a lot of people that are just frustrated, you know, you're, you're seeing some pictures on the screen here, people that have had issues with thyroid problems, dry hair, energy issues, overweight, 
fatty liver, uh, you know, um, diabetes, you know, low testosterone. You know, okay. it really comes down to coming in here and just having a conversation with us. You know, okay. not everyone is a candidate. So we really want to make sure that we are getting as many details as we can in that initial consultation. That's what we offer the fir for the first, uh, first 30, 30 callers. Yes, for sure. They're going to get a free e-guide. So the e-guide is, is a special little guide that they're going to get with tips and tricks on how to uh, find that fountain of youth for them. But they also get that free consultation. That's the first step to be able to go to our office and just tell us what's going on there. Well, we can see if we are going to be able to help them. Got it. So just give them a call, 210-987-8971, or text info to that same phone number. You can visit them online at ifhealth.com. Dr. Torres, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Lucy. You look beautiful. All right, out with the old and in with the spring, where you can get your spring shopping done and support local businesses. That's up, on, that's up next on SA Live. And earlier, we asked you to share your spring break photos. Let's see here, Narcy San Pedro, California. Awesome, you got to get out of Texas. And Amanda, giant pizzas at Big Lou's. Ooh, El Magic Time Machine, Ripley's Museum. Wow, you had fun, pony rides. Sounds fun, keep them coming. Welcome back, everyone. Want to do a little spring shopping? Hey, you can get it done at the Alley on Bitters, local spot with local art, one-of-a-kind boutiques, shops, just minutes from downtown. It is that hidden little gem right over there off Bitters, and Jennifer Starr is here to showcase some of the wonderful things that they have going on over at the Alley. And not only is it shopping, but just about everything. You can spend the whole day there. You really could. I call it a little hill country, but right here in the middle of San Antonio, they've got yoga and Pilates, but they have two great dining establishments. They have... Lots of classes, great shopping. There's a boutique um, salon. Art there's classes, you said? Art classes. Yeah, there's a photography studio and an art gallery. So again, you can go there in the morning and just not... Spend the day. Yeah, spend the whole totally. day there. So. And you'll feel like you're not right in the middle of the And with spring shopping, you're talking everything from Fiesta, Florals, Beach, Easter. Easter yeah, definitely. Starting so we're starting with, with Fiesta. your shirt. Yeah, so this is from Texas Beach Boutique, and it says Fiesta, then Siesta. Of course, that's what a lot of people will be doing. And then <laughs> uh, we have our Fiesta colors in their necklaces. This is from there as well. They have embroidered items, lots of colors. And they are the beach boutique, so you'll find really beachy items and as well. And those slides are good because you could wear those on the beach if you want to, around the pool, or yeah. even just a little bit dressier for yeah. the evening, right? Completely, yep, okay. that's right. And so moving jewelry. on to, if you like the colors, but you're also really crafty, you can do them yourself at Originals, Beads, and Gems. They have classes where you can... Uh, make your own necklaces. They have them from um, beginners to experts. So mm -hmm. a lot of fun stuff. That's one of the classes we offer at the alley. Okay. By the way, if you hear any pounding on the roof right now, we're hearing it. They're doing a little roof repairs up there. So, uh, yes. and so then moving into spring florals. Everything from florals and outfits. Too. That's right. And so this is all together at Boat Resort. It's one of our newest shops. And Boat Resort means beautiful treasures. And it's a sister duo. So um, Kat picks these beautiful European styles. This one's by Joseph Ribkoff, the jeans and shirt. And then her sister, Donna, makes these amazing floral masterpieces. Those are and very pretty. Yeah, they're so lovely. They'll really make your home feel spring And ready. not just for spring. I mean, that would last all year round. Oh, and she does Any them seasonally. Season yeah. She has them seasonally. The, her Christmas stuff is amazing, too. Yeah. Okay, speaking so, of yeah, florals. Yeah, moving into floral undergarments. So, yes, we have the bra chick, and she is an expert in all things bras. So. And you mentioned that, and Jen was like, the bra chick. She is the yeah. most wonderful person, I guess, she for She really, fitting, so. like has all your essentials. She can tell you exactly what sizes you need. But beyond the essentials, she does do trendy styles for whatever the seasons are. So we picked this beautiful, lovely floral design here. Okay, Fiesta. Yeah. So we got Fiesta and Spring. We've got our birds. And this is Iva Style. And she is an interior designer. She's got a great eye. And she just, you know, like you go in mm -hmm. there, the shop is beautiful. But got our Fiesta colors. I love this. Those great flip-flops. I fantastic. love this little um, teapot. Wake mm -hmm. up, early bird. She's got beautiful pottery in there. But, you know, think about it. Those would go with literally anything. That's right. Jeans, That's skirt, right. Mm -hmm. whatever yep. it may be. Exactly. Um, swimsuit. This screams Fiesta, definitely. And she's mm -hmm. got the little bracelets to match. Okay. Moving on to the colors. I mean, this is shopping with Siobhan. And she has local finds where she goes out to all these markets and stuff. And one of the things she's found here. Um, <laughs> okay, this is this These is the are real thing coins you're from... It's, we'll you just say ladies' that. parlors back in the day, and uh, they've made them into this jewelry. I think they're really fun. Good, good for all night with a key on it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Take it from there. <laughs> if yeah. you want to, There's so. several different ones too. You should go by and read them. They're <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. So we all got to chuck a lot of that one. All right. Can't forget, forget so about the little ones the littles, and Easter. Right. Yes. What little girl wouldn't just be Isn't precious that adorable? all the pictures yes. in so, that? Finn and Pickles is the newest children's boutique at the Alley, and they have all the brands that you love. So we've got um, our Easter basket stuffer stuff, Easter clothes, and then I love this. It's fishing season, so who doesn't love a good fishing romper? So see, it's shorts that are um, on there as well, and you can see we, ha we have it in pink down there, um, but it's perfect for fishing season. It comes in size 12 months to uh, seven That's years. Adorable, so, so the romper doesn't go for a seven-year-old. All right, <laughs> Wednesday, uh, one, one Wednesday out of the month, you have a wine, wine down, Wednesday. down Wednesday, but especially coming up in April. Yes, big that's one, right? our big one, April 10th. It's the Fiesta Fandango, and we're going to have all things Fiesta there. We'll have Fiesta-themed food, and we'll have, you know, drinks throughout, and live music. The Royal Court's going to come. It's going to be fun. Again, the Alley on Bitters and the Wind Down Wednesday on April 10th. It's from 5 till 9 p.m. It's 55 West Bitters. And for more information on all these items and events at the Alley on Bitters, and again, it's that little hidden gem there with everything, like you said, that's going on, this is SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Jennifer, thank you very much. Thank you for Great spring me. ideas. All right, next on SA Live, full of color and packed with flavor, a recipe that is less than $10, and get this, it's healthy for the entire family. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live, everyone. Well, it's a gym that empowers women and encourages self-confidence and a healthy way of living. Burn It in 30. If the name sounds familiar, it should have been featured on SA Live many times before. And today, we get a look inside the gym. Wow. It's a great place to... Uh, not only get in shape, but also get healthy with some healthy yes. food as well. Tiffany Batsakis, who's a reg registered dietitian, joins us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks for having us today. Yeah. Tell me about your role with Burn It in 30. I'm the registered dietitian for the program, so I create individualized meal plans. We do a lot of tips, workshops for the women, individual consultations, one-on-one -on -one sessions, and group classes as well. So, so recipes. I was going to say, and so re yeah, so it's recipes, not just saying, right. go lift some weights. Right. right. Nutrition and exercise go hand say, in hand. Eat, eat this to go with yes. it as well. Eat these healthy foods. Because you're never going to get abs if you got fat on top of your abs. you got to <laughs> get right. rid of that, right? Right. Okay. And you want to find flavorful foods to help you have a healthy meal plan, eating, healthy eating. Okay, so what are we so making today? Today we have a black bean and corn um, salad okay. with a chipotle honey vinaigrette that I already blended, which is over there. So we're going to start okay. with the black beans. And this is a very colorful salad. So we have red bell peppers already chopped up, corn. And Ooh, I, I love all the other, colors. Yeah, the, yes, uh, very colorful. colorful, very colorful. So, so again, very enticing. The and then there's yes. a lot of different textures in there yes. too. Yes, we have Ooh. crunchy, we have... Yeah, from the and the red onions are the last thing. And all of this was ten dollars. Yes, this was oh. about ten dollars, and it took me fifteen minutes to prepare this. Okay. So we'll add the seasonings here. We have a little salt, pepper, and cumin. So all of these are local mm. flavors, flavors that people know. And of course, the honey chipotle vinaigrette, the chipotle I blended all as of this? well. Yes, okay. I blended this as well. So we have white wine vinegar, honey, and a little bit of olive oil. That's easy enough. So yep, just mix it up, and you can use this as a side salad. You can put it in your taco because we have this option today of mm -hmm. chicken. Yes. And I was going to say, as far as the, the nutrients, the beans have a lot of the fiber. Right. Yeah, very protein. fiber dense, nutrient dense. Okay. They good. double as a protein and a carbohydrate, a good okay. source of complex carbohydrates. So these are the kind of carbohydrates that we want you to eat, right? And then, uh, obviously, olive oil is very good for you. Yes. Honey, a good natural sweetener. A little bit of sweet with a little bit of tangy. And that can help you with your allergies as well because if you get local honey and right. you ingest some of that bee pollen. So, yes. so, so, so you can of, make a big taco right there. Oh, wow. You can throw some chicken on if you want to scoop out some of that avocado, a little bit more Ooh. cilantro. Yes. You can use the... the you can try that, yes. And the gym is open now. Well, Mike tastes that. And so uh, women can go and sign up and maybe schedule some time with you and yes. also some workouts. Yep, so come see us, for sure. The whole and program. The, yes, and if anybody is interested in this recipe, it's on the Burn It In 30 Instagram. Ooh, okay. So you can make this at home. You can have it enjoy this anytime. What do you think? A little, little kick. It, as yeah, it's because kick. of the Chipotle. It, it's, yes. it's, it reminds <laughs> yes. me of summer because it's fresh, it's cold, it's light. So All yes. right. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank Next on SA Live, meal deals that won't break the bank. David Elder, he's hitting one out of the park out there at Circle K, sharing their special 
that are less than $5. Stay with us. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, so you're out on the road, you're driving, you get those hunger pains, oh, yeah. and you want to stop. Well, Circle K has got some great food ideas, mm. and it's not going to break the bank. Right, and our resident foodie, David Elder, is out there at the Circle K on Loop 1604 and Bulberry Road to check out those deals. Hey, David. Hey guys, how's it going? Yes, I'm out here off Boverde Road in 1604 East, and check that out. We're gonna be talking about meal deals happening right now at Circle K, and with me to talk about them is Abby Catchings. Now, Abby, we got this cool sign. We got different pricing here, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna be looking at the food. Look at all this delicious food. Now, That's how new great. is this stuff? How new are these combo meals? So we just launched these meal deals in our nice. stores a few weeks ago. We're really excited about them. Yeah. And as you can see on the sign right here, we've got great deals starting at $2, yeah. $3, and $4. And is that how these are al lined up here? Exactly. Okay. So, I mean, we're talking $2, and this is for, you gotta get your Polar Pop. Right, so every deal is gonna come Polar with any size Polar Pop. Yeah, hot dogs. Hot dogs. Kolaches. One donut, and that's a medium coffee. Medium coffee, that's right. And then two donuts. Two donuts, And of yep. course, I mean, and the deals just get bigger and better as you increase, and it's only for a dollar increase, you get so much more. I'm talking two hot dogs. This one over here, you get a double cheeseburger, you get your chips and a drink, all of, I mean, lunch tacos. Never even heard of them, but they got them out here. They're delicious. Breakfast tacos, I love it. Right. You guys can get all these different things when you come out here. Now, how did you actually select the items that would be on the menu? So all the items shown here are quick. So our idea behind it is you come into the store, you grab it, you go. You grab your, your hot dog, your mm -hmm. galachi, your donut, um, then head over to the Polar Pop machine, grab your Polar Pop, check out, and then head out. Super fast, super easy, um, and great prices as well. And that's the point. Great prices, super fast, super easy. I love how you say Actually, okay. just hold this real quick. Now, you actually have right here the hot dogs. This is actually what we were highlighting last time. <laughs> and you have like a whole hot dog bar. It's like a build-it-yourself bar that's right. that you have over there. And this one, it's just simple. It's ketchup and it's mustard. Oh, so good. Delicious, right? I love it. I mean, so many options. $2. $2. $2. All right. Pardon me. I'm going to jump over here. Now, look at kolaches. I don't right. even know what's in this one. It's like a surprise, right? Sausage. It's a little pocket. Mmm. <laughs> so we got a little cheese. We got a little something in there. A little cheese. Mmm. I don't know. I sound like flavors. a prospector. It's got yeah. a little cheese in it. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. I love what's going on out here. Now, if people want to win prizes too, I mean, you guys have your secret word of the day, and it actually just moved times, didn't it? Right. It just moved to 6 a.m. newscast. So mm -hmm. tune into the 6 a.m. news. Look for the secret word. Go to ksat.com slash circle K. Enter your word, and um, if you enter correctly, you'll actually get a free coffee. There you go. Get a free coffee. Make sure you head to the website, and of course, come out here. And these are how many locations are having this? Are offering this meal deal? All of San Antonio locations. Every San Antonio location of Circle K now has the two, the three, and the four dollar meal deal options. You get your Polar Pop. You cool down on a hot day. Summer's coming right around the corner. Fiesta's going to be right around the corner. Right. Come chill out. Get great food. Grab your tacos, ready to go. I love it. I love everything about it. You guys, make sure to get yep. more information on Circle K. Just head to CircleKTexas.com. You guys can get all this information and more. Find out when you can put in your, your secret word of the day at KSAT.com slash Circle K, right? And, right. And then yep. you just put everything about it. Here, you know, I'll take the sign. You grab some food, too. Okay, We're going to keep chowing down over here, guys. But, I mean, there's lots of options, and I might get, like, five drinks at the Polar Pop station as well. I'm going for the tacos. <laughs> All right, we're going to head it back to Jen and Mike over there at Market Square. I'm going to keep eating. This is really good. Yeah, this is my lunch. That's like food prep for a week you got laid out there. <laughs> That's I love a lot that. of food. Man, <laughs> bring some with you, David. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, they are a sure sign of spring. Texas blue bonnets, oh my gosh, they are gorgeous. They are popping up all over the sides of the roads. It looks like carpeting going down I-30. Oh my goodness, look at those little babies. <laughs> How beautiful are they? Anyway, um, coming up tomorrow, everything you ever want to know about our beautiful state flower. Plus, WD Deli is rolling out a new menu. What they have in store for your taste buds. We're going to get a sample tomorrow on SA Live. It went by too quickly. Spring break, but Paul says fishing at Ronick Lake. Ah, uh -huh, right. Nice. Wow. Nice. Linda pet. says, my grandson and my husband also went to the coast on a short fishing trip. Nice. And Chelsea says, Kason went to the beach for the first time and enjoyed every minute Aww. of his spring break. Nothing like that first time at the, the beach, beach for those little ones. Yes. 
Another shot at Bonnet Lake. That's okay. We'll see it again. Christina, we took a road trip to Amarillo for my little man to meet his paternal side of the family. What Love a cutie. Shoes. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and we beat us at spring break in Grand Cayman. Wow. Friends rode bikes around, wow. snorkeling, kayaking, visited Stingray City. That's really cool. Stingray City there. Delicious. And now a lot of... The colleges have spring break coming up this oh, week. Oh, is that this week? Yes, yeah, so they didn't have it all, all I remember at once, so. so long ago. So I guess the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the place to avoid is South Padre Island with all the, the colleges down there for ah, that. Good so, to know. Coming up tomorrow, okay, Firehouse Fair Food Truck, and you said this is just. So, yeah, they're going to make fried crawfish mac and cheese balls. Oh my, I'm just watering. I'm sure my there's a sauce or something too. Yeah. yeah, we're going to have a package all about the uh, beautiful blue bond. It's yes. going down I 37. I said it looked like kind Look of a lavender those. carpet on the sides of the highway there. And WD Deli, yes. they have got some new menu they items there. Some new great items. sandwiches. For those who know the place, I mean, they always have those amazing salad sandwiches, these delicious cookies. The co I was going to say the cookies. Those cookies. Oh the my cookies. gosh, those cookies. Yes. yes. <laughs> but they've added a few items, so we'll have them on to cook for us. And of course, we'll eat too. Why not? All the really good <laughs> cookies on there and everything. I so I'll tell you what, get out there and enjoy the weather. It's going to stay a little bit on the coolish side this week, but hey, not Aww, too bad at all. Yeah. That's Max the Wonder Dog, Aww, and he was so enjoying cute. his spring break. I'm at glad y'all included him. The water was a little too cold for him to go swimming. We'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> bye bye.